Why do bucks shed antlers? That's the question we're gonna answer today. When we're talking about antlers with white-tailed deer, it all comes down to photo period, and that's increasing day length or decreasing day length. So let's start at the beginning first before we answer the question that I started with, is how do antlers start growing? They start growing in spring, triggered by photo period. That's increasing day length, triggers the pineal gland in the brain to secrete hormones. These hormones start the growing process, and as we know, when spring turns to summer, turns to fall, the antlers branch out nicely. They grow all the points and stickers and drop tines that we love. And then as day length starts decreasing, photo period triggers this cycle to stop. What happens when it stops is the process shuts down. Blood flow stops to the antler. The antlers calcify, they harden, and that's what we get the polished finished product. Now there is some speculation within the research community as to the reasons why cervids will drop their antlers and grow them again. It's a big long process. It's the fastest growing living organism known to man, antler is. But what we do know is that bucks have to conserve their energy when they get to winter. And that's why it is thought that antlers drop. So why do they shed their antlers? Well, let's look at it. What happens? What happens when that photo period gets to a certain point and that living connection is completely gone, you know, the antlers are hardened, but there's still a living connection between that antler and the pedicle, that's the base. When that is completely shut off, the body reabsorbs that calcium, that little layer that it's holding it together, and then the antlers pop off. When the antlers come off, you see those bloody stumps. It looks painful, it's not. What happens within a day or two, those pedicles become crusted over, scabbed over, so to speak. And within a week, you're not even gonna know that the antler was there. And that's why, especially in some of these city hunts and really late antlerless seasons where they're trying to take out excess deer from the herd, you have to be really careful because you can mistake a buck for a doe at this time of year very easily. Another big question is, when do bucks shed their antlers? Is there a certain formula as to when a buck is gonna shed his antlers? Well, it's kind of complicated. In the wild, there's so many different variables. There's weather, there's stress, there's nutrition. Those all can play a factor into when a buck is gonna shed his antlers. But what we know through research is if a buck is given the best of everything in a captive situation, the best food, the best cover, you know, he's not freezing to death out there. He will drop his antlers within about a day or two almost every single year. So it's programmed within that individual animal. The same thing happens in the wild. Now a lot of people think, oh my goodness, it's below zero today or it's gonna be 30 below this weekend. Those bucks are gonna be so stressed they're gonna drop their antlers. It doesn't work like that. Wild animals are really resilient and it takes enormous amount of stress to alter that individual genetic. So on a, on a mature buck, in the wild, unless there's something really bizarre going on, he's gonna drop his antlers probably within the same week, year after year after year. Certain things can affect that, but in the north, let's just say in the Midwest in the north, it's gonna be around the same times February into March, sometimes they're earlier, it depends on the local situation. And in the south, we see that it's extended because as we know, the southern season isn't as dependent on weather as the northern season. Bergman's rule, if you wanna look that up. When bucks drop their antlers really is an individual thing based off of your local area. So what I would suggest is talking to some seasoned hunters in your area to find out when bucks normally shed and also getting out there for yourself to see when you're gonna find them and where you're gonna find them. You know, there's a lot you can learn by just going outside in the woods where you hunt and finding sheds that's gonna teach you more about deer hunting. Tune in next week and we're gonna go over some of those tips, tactics, and insights. I'm Zach with Alps Outdoors and I wanna show you what's new for 2022. We have our new Elite series pack system here that we're really pushing for 22. It's gonna be an ultra lightweight wilderness type system. Um, 
really meant for the backcountry, shed a lot of weight. We, what we've done is we re-engineered the frame to be about 30% uh, lighter, about 30, 35% stronger from current models that we have in line. And what we've done too is just use other materials and features throughout that have really just shed a lot of weight. So this is gonna be a lightweight system. And what's awesome about this too is that you can get different pack bags to utilize within the frame. So the one frame system can incorporate multiple size pack bags. And for 22, we're gonna have an 1800 cubic inch pack bag, and we're gonna have a 3800 cubic inch pack bag. The pack bags are really nice too, because they're full length zippers and you can open them up and lay everything out. And there's mesh pockets throughout them to keep everything organized and easy to see. Uh, the, the frame system itself, has an adjustable torso suspension, so you can get it to fit perfectly. It comes included with your, your waist belt pockets, your rain cover, your drop down pockets. They can all be removed too if you wanna shed those extra pounds, but they are included with the purchase. And then we also use Cordura materials throughout the entire system as well to really keep down on a, on a light weight. For more information, you can uh, visit alpsoutdoors.com. And again, these are the elite pack system from Alps Outdoors.